Something else happened in this debate, which I really took. I don't take offense to a lot of things. I offend a lot of people, but I try not to take offense uh, to a lot of things. But there was there was this one back and forth, which and it always annoys me when they do it. And I was really just offended that Kamala Harris was offended by this. And it's when they were talking about the Supreme Court and the uh, the nomination and, of course, the approval or the appointment of Amy Coney Barrett to the bench. And here's what Mike Pence had to say. And our hope is in the hearing next week, unlike Justice Kavanaugh received with treatment from you and others, we hope she gets a fair hearing. And we particularly hope that we don't see the kind of attacks on her Christian faith that we saw before. Yeah, and Kamala Harris, when, you know, they moved on to another question, but she wasn't going to let that one go. She needed to step up and protect herself and her man, Joe. Joe Biden and I are both people of faith. And it's insulting su to suggest that we would knock anyone for their faith. And in fact, Joe, if elected, will be only the second uh, practicing Catholic uh, as president of the United States. Yeah, what she means when she says Joe Biden is a practicing Catholic means that he's practicing because he really sucks at it and he needs to get a lot better. Joe Biden is to Catholicism like I am to, well, hair care products, for example. Joe Biden is probably one of the worst representatives of the Catholic Church. In fact, anyone who is as much a socialist Democrat as Joe Biden is cannot be a Catholic. He cannot, in good faith, without the expectation of being struck down by lightning by the good Lord above or when they, uh, ending up in an eternity uh, you know, down under, and I'm not talking about Australia, nothing that the Catholic Church stands for could be found in the Joe Biden political agenda. In fact, the total polar opposite can be found in the Joe Biden playbook. So really, he should stop calling himself a Catholic because you cannot be a Joe Biden Democrat and a Catholic at the same time. The beliefs that Joe Biden, the Democrat, has are in direct contradiction to Joe Biden, the Catholic. They, they, just, they, they don't mesh at all. The Catholic Church, they're very staunch in their beliefs. There's no negotiating. Abortion it's non-negotiable. It doesn't matter if it's first trimester, third trimester, 19th trimester. The Catholic Church says no, foot down. When, when Joe Biden and Barack Obama put forth Obamacare, the Catholic Church had to sue because Obama and Biden were forcing them to pay for contraception for their employees. I don't know if you know about this, but the Catholic Church feels about contraception pretty much the same way it feels about abortion. It's a big no-no, and they were are not going to let anybody in political office, let alone Barack Obama and Joe Biden, tell them that they have to use their money, their money that their parishioners, their God-fearing parishioners gave them to pay for contraceptives for their employee? Absolutely not. I mean, the list goes on and on. You talk about gay marriage. You talk about these other issues. I mean, it, it, you cannot be a Democrat and a practicing Catholic the way Joe Biden is a Democrat. As a Catholic myself... And look, I'm not saying I'm no priest. I'm no saint by any means. But as a Catholic myself, I would really appreciate it if Joe Biden would stop calling himself a Catholic because it really makes me look bad. And I can look bad all by myself. I don't need his help.